for salaries and benefits, how much a, a doctor who's employed by a hospital, on average, primary care versus cardiac, the cardiac third surgery, on average, how much does an employed doctor make for a hospital net every year? Anybody? Did you say something? A couple million? We got a couple million up front? Naughty in the back? Um, well, it's how much they create, how much income they create for the medical center. So are these the hospitalists that work full time for the hospital? No, those would be, these are all employed doctors, whether you're a cardiac surgeon, a primary care doctor, an internist. So a, external practices that are affiliated with the hospital. Well, they're, well, that's what we're talking about. Employed doctors are employees of the hospital and independent doctors have privileges. I'm not employed doctors because they're buying out the independent ones turning them into employed physicians, causing all that mess we just talked about. But you're very close. What about the independent ones? They make money off the independent ones too, right? I'm sorry? The hospitals make money off the independent physicians as well, right? They but do. But they don't have to pay for them. They do, they do. They don't, but they don't have to pay their salaries, that's right. Um, but they don't get this much, because they get, I'll show you why they get so much, because it's because of the ancillary. So stand by, stand by. Martin Gaynor is a wonderful economist, Harry Bryant, Carnegie Mellon, he used to be the FTC's director of economics, has written a very good paper, several very good papers, and he says that when an after medical group acquisition, the price increases can go up 20 to 30 percent easily, and up to 50 percent is not uncommon for the same care, for the same provider. Patient outcomes are substantially worse at hospitals in most concentrated, in concentrated markets. So, we need to slow this down. And we are. Who was I just talking to? Was it Steve Leary who <coughs> talked about? I've seen way this year of doctors leaving hospital employment. It can be very difficult. The non-compete clauses within the contracts that these employed doctors sign are tough. They have they can't work for a year in the same area, and they really handcuff them and make it very difficult for them to to break away. Um, this gentleman got a raise last year, and this was a 12% raise to a, a salary of 6.1 million for a nonprofit hospital. Got a raise after he lost 88 doctors who'd been employed by the Atrium Health System for 25 years, and another group of anesthesiologists left because they were so corrupt. And when the 88 doctors filed in their law in their district's district courthouse, they filed a claim against why they were all leaving and wanted out of their contracts, and they put down all the nonsense that this hospital is putting up all the up coding, overcharging, overbilling, demanding that the doctors see so many patients a day, do so many surgeries, put so many heads in beds, refer make so many referrals within the system. The more they did that, they, they exposed all this in the claim, the next business day, they fall on a Friday afternoon, by Monday morning, they had released the 88 doctors out of the contract because it would have been so bad for this to have all come out. 